Yo what's up guys welcome back again to my very first Pokemon Go video. Now this game was released about a week ago and everybody's playing Pokemon Go like it's mad. The entire planet Earth is playing Pokemon Go. It's super addicting, I got addicted as well so I decided to post some videos on it and in this video I'll be telling you the top 5 tips and tricks for Pokemon Go. So since the game has just been released, not many people are at a high level, most of them have just started or are at a medium or low level. So on the number 5 tip we have the pick up the Pokeball trick. Now if you didn't know already when you throw a Pokeball there is a big chance of missing right? But you can still catch that Pokeball, pick it up, not lose it and throw it again. Once you see that the Pokeball did not hit the Pokemon you just have to click on it. Now it's not easy since it's running away the Pokeball goes away but if you click many times you can catch the Pokeball and not lose it so that you can throw it again because Pokeballs are really precious like if you do not want to spend money on the game make sure uh, you don't waste Pokeballs like that like if you can save them make sure you do. On the number 4 spot I have a tip regarding Pikachu. Pikachu is one of the most famous and awesome Pokemons ever and there is a glitch Something like a glitch that you can get Pikachu as your starting Pokemon. The three starting Pokemon uh, you're offered is Charmander, Squirtle and Bulbasaur or something like that, alright? So, uh, when you start the game, this tip is for beginners, when you just download the game, you open Pokemon Go and you see those three Pokemons and you have to choose one of them as your starting Pokemon. Now, if you completely ignore them and run away, um, they're gonna reappear after a few seconds. What you have to do is run away four times so that they disappear four times and appear four times and at the fourth time you will do this Pikachu will appear and you will be able to catch him as your starting Pokemon. Trust me it works make sure you test it out. So moving on to the number three spot I have a little tip that most of you probably haven't noticed yet. So if you go to the nearby Pokemons as you can see below the Pokemon there are one two or three footsteps. Now what those mean is that three footsteps means that the Pokemon is super far away, three uh, circles away, two footsteps means that the Pokemon is two circles away and one footstep means that the Pokemon is near you and it will appear within the next 10 seconds. So when the footsteps are reduced that means you're getting closer to that Pokemon. For the number two spot we have something not that game changing but it's a cool trick you can do um, when you find a Pokemon and you're going to capture it if you tap on it and of course you do not have your phone on silent you can hear the Pokemon noise. It's pretty fun, try it out. And for the last tip, the most important in my opinion and the most useful of all, so this tip will improve your chances of catching a Pokemon. Now if you haven't noticed yet when you tap on the Pokeball to catch the Pokemon, a green ring appears on that Pokemon. Depending on how long you keep your finger on the Pokeball, the rings get smaller. Depending on how long you keep your finger on that Pokeball, the ring becomes smaller and smaller. And what you want to do is make that ring as small as possible before it disappears. Because that improves the chances of catching that Pokemon. So now when you get that uh, ring as small as possible, you throw the Pokeball like you usually do and you are most likely to catch that Pokemon. So that is for this top 5 tips and tricks video guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you do enjoy uh, Pokemon Go, make sure you let me know down below what videos do you want to see from me. I really really love Pokemon Go. I've been playing it for so long for the past couple of days and I really want to start uploading to my channel Pokemon Go. So I hope I was kind of helpful for you guys with this video. If I was make sure you drop a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and see ya in the next one.